Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 very important iPhone settings that you should turn on on your device immediately. You probably have seen a ton of videos on YouTube by other YouTubers and myself as well showing you guys different settings that you should turn off on your device. But there are very important settings that you need to have turned on on your device. Of course, having these settings turned on will make your device much secure will protect of course your privacy the security of your data as well as make your device perform much much better and of course also preserve battery life on your device so here are 10 iphone settings that you should turn on immediately on your iphone running on ios 14. Let's first take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, NordVPN, the best VPN solution for iPhone users. With more than 5,000 super fast servers in 59 different countries, easily unlock websites like Netflix or other entertainment websites, and of course, protect your data while traveling or you're in public places like a coffee shop or an airport. And the auto connect feature will make it super easy for you to connect to one of these super fast NordVPN servers. You want to block ads? Well, NordVPN got you covered as well. CyberSec is a suit which acts as an ad blocker. Of course, you get extra features like unlimited bandwidth, up to six simultaneous connections, and it's compatible with most operating systems. Go ahead and give it a try and you will get a huge discount by following the link right down below in the description of the video and use my coupon code. The first setting you should turn on on your device is not actually found on the settings app. It is found on the phone or the contacts app and this one is very useful and very important at the same time. Of course, all of us have those important contacts that we want them to be able to reach us at any time. If you have your iPhone on silent or do not disturb mode, you might miss those calls. But with this setting, you will make sure that you don't miss any of those calls from important people. You just go to that contact and tap the edit button. And then you go to ringtone and right here we'll find a button that says emergency bypass. Make sure to turn on this setting and what this will do is that it will basically receive calls from this contact even if your device is on do not disturb mode on or silent you will still get actual vibrations and sounds when this contact is calling you which of course makes this setting really really important. The next one is found of course on the settings app you go to accessibility and lower here we'll find face id and attention now face id of course a great feature of iphones right here we'll find three different settings that you should turn on on your device now the first of them is called require attention for face id this is very important because your iphone will require your full attention before unlocking your iphone so that no one of course can just grab your iphone and unlock it by just pointing it at your face so this is really important also you will get attention aware features now these are very important you're you're looking at your iphone you get a phone call the ringing won't be that loud because your iphone basically detects that you're watching your iphone and will actually just basically lower the sounds or dim the display whenever you're watching your iphone or just bring up the display very cool very very useful and very convenient at the same time you will also get haptics here this one is not really that important but if you want to get a haptic feedback whenever you unlock your device through face id you can enable it from here the next setting is a new setting that Apple has added with iOS 14 and it is called private address. Now what this does is that it gives your device a private Mac address when you're on a Wi-Fi network. Keeping this on of course will prevent like will actually reduce the tracking of your iPhone across different Wi-Fi networks. So that of course is always very important for the security and privacy of your iPhone. So you can go ahead and just go to any of the Wi-Fi networks you're connected on, tap on the little i button and turn this on from here. The next setting you should make sure that you have turned on is found under the password section on the settings app. So you go to password and tap on security recommendations. Right here we'll find detect compromised passcodes. Now this one is really important. If your iPhone detects any passcodes that you have stored and they have been compromised, it will notify you right away. So that of course is very, very useful and also very important for the security of your data. Passwords get compromised all the time and this feature is just amazing and very, very useful. Now, of course, we all get those emails that we don't want to get and we block them, but you will probably still see them on your inbox 
but of course there is something you can do about it. You go to settings and you go to mail. If you go to mail, right here you will find blocked senders options. So if you go here, you can enable mark blocked senders, which basically shows you the block logo whenever someone that you have blocked will send you an email. But by default, you will have this on leave on inbox. Basically, this will just leave those emails still on inbox. So you just block someone they can still send you the email you will just get that basically that mark that shows that that's a blocked sender but they will still be on your inbox you don't want that to happen you just want to move them straight to the trash so you don't get those emails on your inbox at all they will automatically be moved to the trash with ios 14 we get group chatting on imessage which is a pretty cool feature and if you go to iMessages, you will find here a very important setting that you should turn on, of course, if you use group chats, but you have muted some of those, you can right here go ahead and enable notify me. So whenever someone mentions you on a group conversation and you have that muted, it will notify you even though that conversation has been muted, it will still notify you if your name has been mentioned in that conversation. A pretty cool feature that you can find on the map setting right here. Actually, there are two different features. You have air quality index and weather conditions. These are two settings that I suggest you should turn on. So whenever you're on the maps app, you're looking at a city or a place, whatever that is, you can see right here the current weather and the air quality on that city. And if you just 3D touch on it, right here it will expand and you will see the hourly forecast as well as the air quality index for that city. This of course makes these settings very, very useful and very important. The next setting can be found under accessibility and it is called spoken content. Now, if you go to spoken content, you can enable right here speak selection and speak screen. Now what this allows you to do is just go ahead and select any text and your iPhone will start speaking that text to you, which is really awesome. So if you can't read something or you just don't want to read it, you can just basically like select a text or 3D touch on it and just tap on speak. Hi, this is a test message. And you can see right away your iPhone will start reading that text for you. The next setting can be found under display and brightness. It is a very simple one, but very a lot of people overlook it and actually turn it off. You should always keep this on. It is auto lock. Now, if you keep auto lock at never, it will basically never lock your device. If you just leave your device somewhere without locking it manually, your device will stay unlocked. But of course, if you choose one of the options right here, which I suggest you should, your device will be automatically locked and your data Data and all your stuff will be much secured. And last but not least, we're moving to the home screen section on the settings app. This is a new section, of course, introduced with iOS 14 and the new app library. So if you use app library a lot like I do, you can see here, I just have some like essential apps. All of my other apps are on the app library. You don't get notifications on the app library, so you don't get that badge on those apps. So what you should do is go to your settings, Go to home screen and make sure you enable show in app library. This makes sure that it will display the badges on all of the apps that you have notifications, but don't have those apps on your home screen. Instead, have them on your on your app library. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 settings that I suggest you should turn on immediately on your iOS 14 device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.